What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be going over this cichlid aquarium. Alright, I said the stocking in here wasn't permanent. We're going to go through and we're going to catch a few fish. We're going to catch this guy right here and his twin which is somewhere right here. Dogs playing with toy. We're also going to catch this peacock. And there's another Mbuna in here. He's right there next to the peacock that we're going to get out of here as well and bring them to the pet store. So I completely destroyed it, but I got the fish that I wanted to get out of there and into this bucket. Now I'm just going to put these rocks back in here and make it look as close as it was before, I guess. cloudy for moving everything around and it is not identical to the way it was before but it still looks good and that's all that matters to me and it being different is okay because I am going to be coming back with other fish so I don't know what size they're going to be I don't even know what I'm going to be getting but we're getting more color into this tank in my opinion African cichlid tanks should be bright and colorful and this one was dull and lame also if you're curious about how we move fish if you don't know, if you're new to the hobby, it's basically along these lines right here. Five gallon bucket with some water, bag on top so water doesn't splash, put it in a place that it will not move where your seat belts. If you're over the age of 18 and live in the state of New Hampshire, then you don't have to wear your seat belt. So I'm back home and I picked up a couple of fish. I didn't bring you guys inside of the pet store because it was Bill's and Bill's is being remodeled and I want it to be a full surprise for you guys. I don't want you to see just the little bits and pieces being done because it's going to be sweet. But let's see what we got. And I actually got more for the 100 gallon than I did for this tank and that wasn't necessarily the plan. But we'll show you some b-roll of what I got for that after we check this out. So off the bat, the rockscape's completely different because one of the fish we got is rather small, so I changed it up with more small hiding spots. We did get this female radis right here. Maybe her and this guy will pair off and do some breedings. These guys are really easy to tell the difference between male and female. The male is more of a black color with a yellow stripe going down the back, and the female is all yellow with black stripes. We also grabbed this peacock, it's a little bit smaller than the others, and I'm hoping the color brightens up a little bit. You know, they're not always full color in the pet store. And if you look way back here, way back there, we have another red frontosa that is mini. So now everything I got into this tank is I got some fake plants for now. We're going to get the real ones in there. I collected all of these rocks myself. I did not buy any of these rocks. I got three different colors of reptile sand from the pet store as well as a bag of fine aquarium sand in white and I did pick up one bag of these small pebbles I figured it would make it look a lot more natural in there to have the different variations of gravel size it's being ran on an aquion canister filter and we got a marine land light on top LED light it's heated with a 200 watt heater and we got the CJ Nano it's small but that thing moves some serious water I'm pretty impressed so other than some of these fish growing out of the aquarium, 
at some point or another in those fake plants turning into real plants. This is how it stand for a while until these frontosas grow up. And hopefully we got a male and a female in there because that'd be sweet. I'm gonna save most of the 100 for another video of its own to come in the future. But I'll do a little B-roll right now for you of the new fish that we just got. But after that, I'm out of here. And if you've made it this far in the video, why don't you hit that like button and the subscribe button.